This is the new Renogy Shadow Flux panel. It's shade tolerant, so you see how the corner there is covered in shade. These panels would still work. I know Renogy is a good brand because when I moved off grid almost five years ago, the very first system I ever used was their RV or van life system that you can easily adapt to your RV. And it came with some solar panels and a PWM charger and, you know, the charge controller. Uh, and then a system in order to drill some holes and, and run the wiring into the van. So at one point I had four 100 watt Renogy solar panels on the roof of the van going into that simple PWM charging a 200 amp hour battery I had. That was the first system I ever had and to this day I still have that PWM charge controller and it still works and I, I can use it around the homestead if I'd like to. Renogy is based out of Ontario, California and they offer superior off-grid solutions. Whether you install a roof that has concealed screws like I'm doing, you can get hardware to mount the panels directly to the ridges on that roofing, or there are other mounts that will directly attach to the wood. You can do ground mounts like this one, or maybe one that's nicer with some concrete footings. There are many ways to install the panels. So I moved off grid with no more power than these two panels provide right here, 400 watts. That is absolutely enough to get you going, especially if they're pretty well in the direct sun. And if you're not in an ideal location, these ones will help you with that little bit of shadow tolerance. Introducing the 200 watt Renogy Shadow Flux Shadow Tolerant Solar Panel. These are N-type solar panels with an open circuit voltage of 36.5 volts. If you have areas that are slightly shaded like I do in my greenhouses and around the homestead, these might be ideal for you. As you can see, there's definitely a part of the day where these panels do not receive direct sunlight. And of course, the shadows from the water tower and the trees could affect this too. They also offer improved hotspot resistance, high efficiency, and environmental endurance. I have about 500 watts of solar panels attached to the roof of the shop here and that energy is collected inside in my solar system. In addition to the location on my greenhouse, obviously this would be an ideal position too. These are not directly pointed at the sun and so that little bit of tree shade that hits them could highly affect the panels. As you can clearly see, there's not a lot of voltage coming in right now. I'm going to disconnect those panels and connect these Renogy Shadow Flux panels just to kind of test them out here on the homestead real fast. So there's no sun on the panel and it's only one panel and it's bringing in almost 34 volts. Well, there's a dog in front of it right now. I know it. That's why it went down. <laughs> there were two dogs out here. So 33 volts with just one panel. So there's two panels. There's almost 70 volts going into the system. While typical panels might drop to zero power if 22% of the panel is covered, these panels will still offer 134 watts with 25% of the panel covered. In fact, this panel will still maintain 60% of its power with 30% of the panel being covered. Okay, so first thing in the morning, I've got three amps coming in. 35, 34 volts. So that's 105 watts of power coming in right now at sunrise. Well, a little after sunrise anyway. So you could see the panels were wide open and now we're gonna cover the corner here. That's close to 25%. And now we still have about three amps. And 23 volts. So there's still 69 watts of power coming in. So even with almost 25% of the panel being covered, only one panel is plugged in, it's still getting 65% of the sun that's hitting the surface. In the ideal situation, you'd set up your solar panels so that they're positioned where there won't be shade on them ever. But 
not every situation is ideal. You see this little panel that's temporarily set up down here on the ground and there's a little shade going across that corner. And if that was a shade tolerant panel, then it would be producing more energy. That small amount of shade could nearly wipe out that panel. So while you should set up your array so that no shade ever hits it, you can't always do that. Like over on my greenhouse, there's always going to be a little bit of shade at some point in the day. As the sun gets up all the way in the sky, then, then that shade goes away. But there is a point where a shade hits it. Just like how I've been powering my shop from this side of the roof, in the morning there's always been just a little bit of shade on that and to use these shade tolerant panels in a spot like that would produce more power for me just like on my greenhouse where there is a point in the day where shade hits them so anywhere that you have a position where shade actually hits your panels a panel like this might be ideal for you. How do these panels work? It's not uncommon to have as few as five bus bars, while these pack 16 bus bars into so each we'll square. So we'll cover the corner of this here. This, each one of these has 16 bus bars. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So that's a little solar panel, a solar panel. So I'm essentially covering 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, pretty well. 12 of these. I got that at the farmer's market the other day to hang up in my cabin when it's finished. If you like free stuff, go on over to my website, join my mailing list. You'll get my free ultimate guide to off-grid living and a 25% off discount for my website. Did you know that it's free to subscribe to my content here on YouTube? And if you click any of the affiliate links below to support my homestead, I'll get a small kickback for sharing products I'm passionate about. My dogs love to run and play and I've experienced many times, you see my shadow covering these, so many times I've experienced the dogs just playing and they'll come and just, they're just walking in front of a corner covering less than this did and the panel shuts down pretty well altogether. See how she's sitting there? She could simply come to bathe in the sun just a little too close. And so for 30 minutes, 45 minutes while she's hanging out, there's no power, but these would still work. So while you obviously wanna set up your solar panel array so that it most ideally hits the sun all day with no shade hitting it whatsoever, these panels could really save your butt. In Sorry the guys, these guys are looking for a little bit of attention right now. Okay, okay, okay. As I've grown and evolved with my channel, it's become really important to me to only share brands with you guys that I would actually use myself. And I like US-based companies or companies that at least offer great customer service. In nearly five years out here, I've burnt up a lot of solar technology, but all of my Arenergy gear still works to this day. So we were at almost 70 volts and covering that corner brought it down to 48, 50 volts. But a lot of solar panels would be completely unfunctional right now just because of that corner being blocked. It's important to make sure that the watts and volts and amperage is all gonna work out for your system so you can pause here or hit the link and read more about them there. I really do think that these are some pretty outstanding solar panels and I'm already getting emails from locals so I'm looking forward to giving you guys a set of these panels soon.